My research area focuses on energy storage devices, specifically batteries. One of the themes is to take the knowledge gained by developing biomedical batteries and how to extend their lifetimes and apply that to other systems to hopefully be able to extend life of other battery systems as well. One of the revolutions that we're anticipating is much broader implementation of hybrid vehicles, plug-in hybrid vehicles, and ultimately fully electric vehicles. For that to happen, one of the things that is necessary is batteries that provide sufficient runtime. We can think about that as how many miles we can drive on a single charge and sufficient power. And power we can think about in terms of the acceleration of the vehicle. How fast could we drive the car if it's powered fully by batteries? One of the important factors in electric vehicles might be the lifetime of the battery where the objective might be to have a battery that would survive the life of the car. If we think about commonly deployed batteries for cell phones or Blackberries or laptop computers, I would say a typical expectation is that the batteries might last three or four years. By that time, the electronics probably need an upgrade. It would be rare that we would buy a new battery for a cell phone. I think most commonly people would just buy a whole new cell phone. So how do we move from an expectation of battery life of three to four years to an expectation of battery life of 10 to 20 years. And that's where some of the experience in the biomedical arena can really come into play. Biomedical batteries, so these are batteries used for human implant, the expectation already has been for many years that the batteries will last someplace between five and 10 years. Oftentimes we think of batteries running out when all of the active materials are consumed. But often the lifetime is not so much determined by active material consumption, but determined by parasitic and degradation mechanisms that take place inside the battery. And those are some of the things that we're trying to study to understand what does limit the lifetime of batteries. Uh, new battery systems are not commonly introduced, so it's rare that new battery chemistries ever enter the marketplace. But yet, we're optimistic about not only developing new materials, but adding to the knowledge base of batteries in general. Perhaps some of the things that we learn um, can be applied directly or perhaps indirectly to help move forward the next generation of batteries.